The latest innovation in undersea data centers in Hainan Province, China, comes in two exciting fronts. First, expansion of the world's first commercial underwater data center. This project, nestled off the coast of Sanya, has been steadily adding modules to its underwater network. The goal is to have 100 modules deployed by 2025, taking up around 68,000 square meters of underwater space, roughly the size of 13 football fields. Each module boasts the processing power of 6 million PCs and leverages the ocean's natural cooling properties for remarkable energy efficiency. This translates to an estimated annual saving of 122 million kilowatt hours of electricity compared to traditional land-based data centers. The project is a collaboration between Sanya officials and prominent Chinese tech firms, showcasing China's commitment to sustainability and innovation in the tech sector. Second, advancements in cooling technology. Companies like Highlander are pushing the boundaries of underwater data center cooling. Their Highlander data center combines traditional server cooling systems with a passive seawater cooling system on top of each module. This hybrid approach claims to be 40 to 60 times more energy efficient than typical land-based data centers. Additionally, Highlander is testing pods designed for deeper waters, reaching up to 3,000 meters. These innovations highlight the promising future of undersea data centers. Their potential benefits include A. Reduced environmental impact. By utilizing natural seawater cooling, underwater data centers can significantly decrease energy consumption and carbon footprint. B. Increased land availability. Submerging data centers frees up valuable land resources for other purposes. And C. Improved disaster resilience. Underwater locations offer protection from natural disasters like earthquakes and floods. Before Highlander took the plunge, Microsoft was the first to test the concept of UDCs, submerging its first Project Natick data center off the U.S. Pacific coast in 2015 and serving Azure cloud loads from the seabed. That test was followed by a two-year test off the Orkney Islands in Scotland which ended in 2020 with Microsoft concluding that underwater data centers increased the reliability of IT hardware by protecting it from oxygen and accidental damage. Microsoft appears not to have progressed further with its underwater effort. Please subscribe to our channel for more informative content on emerging technologies.